Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone is doing okay. This video is going to be a little bit different to my usual videos. Um, I am basically doing this video because when I started this journey, I wanted to find this video, but there wasn't one out there like this. So that's the reason I'm doing it. So if there's anyone that was in the same place as I was, then they can find this video and it should help them with what I'm about to talk about. So as you've probably seen by the title, this video is about the Exanti diet. So if anyone who has been following me on Instagram or watches my YouTube videos, then you'll know that I've been doing the Exanti diet now for four weeks. And this is my fourth week doing it. And so far I've lost 10 pounds um, by doing the 800 calorie diet. So if you don't know, Exanti offer a range of different diets they do the 800 calorie diet, they do the 1200 calorie diet, and then they do the 5-2 diet as well. So I'm currently doing the 800, and then once I've done this for a few more weeks, I'm going to go on to the 1200, and then once I'm at my happy weight, I'm going to do the 5-2 just to maintain my weight. So before I get started, most of these ideas that I've got, I got them from Instagram. So there is a huge like Exanti community on Instagram. There are so many different accounts of people doing the Exanti diet and everyone is just so supportive and helpful to each other and some people have great ideas of how to use the products and which is obviously where I got some of these from. Uh, some of them I've just sort of found by trial and error. Um, but yeah, if you are thinking of doing the Exanti diet and you do have Instagram, then I would 100% recommend just searching Exanti and follow some of the accounts that do the diet because some of the accounts are so helpful and yeah it's great to look at each other's ideas and get ideas from each other so yeah instagram has been a huge help in doing the ex -ante diet with that i would just like to say if you do want to um ask me any questions about what i talk about in this video or if you want to follow my weight loss ex -ante journey then feel free to follow me on instagram uh, my instagram is just lou winters um yeah if you want to message about anything then do. I'm not by any means an Exanti expert at all. I don't work for Exanti. I don't do anything for Exanti. I've literally just been doing the diet and I really enjoy it and I think other people will enjoy it as well. It's been a really good sort of way of weight loss at the moment. Um, as I say, I've lost £10 in three weeks, which to me is incredible. Um, and yeah, I just want to share my tips about Exanti so that other people can enjoy Exanti as much as I am. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to start with the sweet products and then we'll move on to the savoury ones after. So the first one is probably the most common thing that they do is their shakes. So I have my box here full of examples. So for example we have our chocolate shake. So these it just says on the back just to get your shaker, add 200ml of water, add the powder and give it a really good shake. Now that is absolutely fine, you know, I love it like that. You know, I love the taste. I think the texture is fine when you do it that way. Um, if you need to, you know, have a quick lunch, I guess, then this shaker, give it a mix, good to go. Or if you need to take it out with you somewhere. So like the other day, for example, I went on a day out, which meant that I was out for lunchtime. So I just took my shaker full of 200ml water and then just took this with me. And then I just mixed it up when I was out. So for convenience, they are really, really convenient. However, if you want to make it a little bit more enjoyable, if you have more time, like if you're at home like I am now. Um, so for example, my breakfast this morning, I had the caramel latte frappe. Now this is fine on its own, it's fine in the shaker, but it is 10 times more enjoyable if you use a blender. So put the 200ml of water in, add some ice, put your mix in and then blend it and it is so much more enjoyable it makes it like a coffee shop drink like I'm not even kidding you it makes it like a Starbucks frappe Um, honestly it's great and just for an extra bit of niceness you can use the skinny syrups Um, I personally use a chocolate syrup for this one you can use the skinny syrups just to make them a little bit more delicious Um, skinny syrups are also great you know they've got zero calories zero sugar you know they're really really good and um, so yeah add a little bit of that then add your frappe and honestly it is delicious so yeah really simple first tip but put your shakes in a blender and add ice and it is a hundred times nicer 
like they're nice on their own but a hundred times nicer when they're in the blender okay so my second tip with the sweeter side of things is the shakes that are like this one so this is white chocolate and raspberry now you can like pick your own shakes on the website but because i went for the four week plan you just get sent like a random assortment of stuff and um, which i'm fine with because it make, it makes you try new things and um, you can obviously go to the website and just choose exactly the flavors you want but i was like why not let's just get a big box and try everything out so this one white chocolate and raspberry sounds really nice however in a shake i just didn't really feel it um i put it in the blender i added ice but the the flavor just wasn't for me in a shake so here comes the exciting part so with this you can make a muffin so how exciting so literally all you need to do is get one of these add one egg give it a little mix add little bits of water at a time and um, so it makes like a cake mixture consistency and um, so you don't want to add too much water you don't want it too runny but also you don't want it too thick so add little bits of water at a time until you get a really good cake batter consistency and then if you want like a better rise you can add like half a teaspoon of baking powder however it's not essential when I first started making the muffins I used to add it but now I don't bother I just add the egg and it's fine and um, yeah so this water and egg and optional little bit of baking powder if you want uh, mix it all in a jug and then literally pour it into a muffin tray I always just use a couple of spritzes of the fry light in the muffin tray just to stop it from sticking um, in the muffin tray and then in the oven at 180 degrees for like 15 minutes and they are delicious um, they make cute little muffins and it's great um, so I did use quite big muffin trays but if you use like a small cupcake tray then you're probably going to get four little muffins out of it um, so yeah that is a great tip to use a really good tip for the muffins is actually to use like this apple crumble so you got apple crumble and then they also do an apple and cinnamon porridge they're really nice as muffins and also on the same line as that so using the mixture an egg a little bit of water but no baking powder this time if you make up that batter get a pan add some fry light to your pan and you've got one big pancake so literally exactly the same mix as the muffins but whack it in a frying pan and you've got a pancake um you've got loads of different flavors to choose from the banana shake is my favorite one to use a pancake so i get a banana pancake um obviously you can have a chocolate pancake as well they're really good and sometimes it just helps to eat things rather than drink a shake and um, i definitely feel sometimes i need to eat rather than just drink a shake and making these muffins or making a pancake is just so much more enjoyable and the good thing is if you still have your 200 calories in here adding an egg will add about 75 calories on depending on the size of the egg um yeah so the egg will add about 75 calories but then i just work around that throughout the day so i'll have i'll have that and then i'll have like a tiny bit less of something else and um, it's 75 calories it's workable so then the last sort of sweet idea is in exam two they do bars here. so they do like peanut butter bars they do chocolate coconut and um, loads more as well and then my favorite is the double chocolate bar so i usually have these just like on a night time with a cup of tea and um, instead of having like biscuits or chocolate i'll just have half one of those bars because those bars are 200 i find that a full bar is just too much to have in one sitting because they are they're not like a little chocolate bar they are really filling so having them like that is fine if you want to make them a little bit more enjoyable then if you get probably recommend the double chocolate one for this and um, as some of them don't have like the right texture in the middle if you pop your bar in a bowl pop it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and then check it and if it needs more add another 10 seconds and you just get this gooey soft chocolatey delight like bang it in the in the oven don't put it in the oven put it in the microwave for literally 10 seconds and it just goes all gooey and nice and more of like a dessert and then if you just want to treat yourself then just add one scoop of ice cream and i know that's not on the diet plan but if you have one of those days where you just feel like you need something a little bit indulgent bang one in the microwave and a scoop of ice cream and it is absolutely divine 
Okay, so now we're going to move on to the savoury side of Exanti. So, Exanti do a huge range of savoury meal replacements. So, for example, they do like an Indian style curry to a spaghetti carbonara, spaghetti bolognese, shepherd's pie, you know, everything you can think of like that. Um, I've actually not tried the carbonara pasta side of it. Um, my absolute favourite savoury thing is the Indian style curry. This is just absolutely divine and um, it tastes exactly like a curry. So if your friends are coming around for a curry or your family are having a curry and you don't really want to go off plan, have one of these. So literally all I do with this is just add 200ml of boiling water from the kettle and there you go, you've got it. It does contain like tiny, tiny bits of rice. Not much, like tiny, tiny bits of rice. So tip number one for the savoury is if you have this and you want to thicken it out, thicken it out with either half packet of rice. So you know the like microwave ready rice things that you get. I do that and then I just have half a packet and just add it to this and it just makes it nice and thick. Or if you don't want any more rice, then get yourself some veg so either like peas sweet corn a little bit of broccoli warm that up and then just add it to this it literally just thickens it and just makes it more of a meal because this is just sauce it can sort of feel like it's not a full meal and um, so yeah add a little bit of veg to it or add some rice to it or if you have quite a lot of your calories left over like if you didn't have lunch or whatever then you can always grill some chicken um, and add some chicken to it and um, some nice lean grilled chicken um, it will probably add what an extra hundred calories on if that you can add stuff to these don't feel like you just have to have this you can add veg to it or you can add some grilled chicken to it and just makes it more of a meal okay so my next savory tip is if you have an exante or if you're doing the exante diet you will know that they have soups and me personally i've never ever come across a powdered soup before i've never had a powdered soup before and it, it is strange, it is really strange. So they do loads of different types of soups. Um, for example, red Thai chicken, or we've got pasta ham and mushroom, or we've got vegetable soup. So these are, the flavors of the soups are really, really good. However, because it is a powdered soup, if you don't mix it properly, you get a lumpy soup and it is not enjoyable at all. So yeah, the one thing out of the whole Exante box that I've got, the one thing I struggle with is these soups, um, purely just because of the texture. So I did find that when I first, when I had my first one, I mixed it with a fork and it was so lumpy and I literally had like a few mouthfuls and couldn't finish it. Um, which was a shame because the taste was really good, but just the texture was, oh, so then when I next had one, I put it in the blender. So it would be no lumps whatsoever. But putting it in the blender does make it a little bit foamy on top, which I wasn't a fan of. So I'm not really having much luck with these soups as soups. So I did my little bit of research on Instagram and I found that you can have the soups as bread. You can turn your soup into like a little flat bread or a pit of bread and voila. So let's take let's take red tar chicken for example. So all you need to do is get your packet, put it in a bowl or in a jug or whatever, add the tiniest amount of water at a time, literally a tiny drop of water at a time because too much water and it'll be so sticky and you just won't be able to work with it. So literally tiniest bit of water at a time. I started off using a Maurice or a spatula as some people call it. Um, to mix it but then I found the best way to do it was just to get in there with your hands and sort of work it work it as a dough you know use use your hands and squish it down and uh, once you've got your dough like texture I then split it in two and then pop it on a baking tray and flatten them down so they're like little pitta shapes on a baking tray and um, again pop some fry light on the tray before you put them down so they don't stick and then I just pop them in the oven for like eight minutes and um, after eight minutes they should be done if not flip them over and put them in for like an extra two minutes or something like that but yeah i usually find eight minutes in the oven and they're done they're like little breads and literally they they come out like 
little pita breads and it's great. If you get it right, if you do it really well, you can actually get them to rise so you can like cut in half and use it as a pita, but I have not managed to do that yet. So <laughs> yeah, I just flat them down as two flatbreads. And then the thing that I tend to do is add crushed avocado and tuna. That is just my thing at the minute. And um, that is my obsession. I think I've had avocado and tuna for the past like three weeks straight. Um, but yeah, that's just how I enjoy it. If again, you've got some calories left over, then some grilled chicken would be really nice with these, like the flatbread, some lettuce, some grilled chicken, and some like low-fat mayo over the top. That would be delicious. But yeah, tip to use the soups is to turn them into breads. And literally so simple, just add the tiniest bit of water into a dough, bang it in the oven, and you've literally got bread. Not bread, but yeah. It's really, if you don't get on with the soups, it's a great idea. So sticking on the subject of these soups, so I completely just thought, why not try this? So because I made a pancake out of the sweet stuff, I thought, well, surely the soup mix would just make a savoury pancake. So that's what I tried. So I actually used the mushroom soup yesterday to make my savoury pancake. So what I did was I put the packet into a, put the packet into a jug. I added an egg because I think you need an egg to make it go right in the pan. So I got my packet mix, I added an egg, and then again, tiny bits of water at a time. I did have like quite a thick pancake consist consistency this time, um, because I wanted them to be thicker rather than like really thin pancakes. And then get your frying pan, add some fry light, and then I did two, rather than doing one big one, I did two little ones. Again, pour your mixture on, you know, do your pancake thing, leave it for a bit, flip it over and then voila and literally that was the best idea i've ever done in my life so i had some calories left over yesterday so i sprinkled a little bit of cheese in there i did some beetroot and um, what else did i put in there an avocado i think i had yesterday and honestly amazing it is such a good meal because the when you put your mixture into a frying pan it's some it somehow seems like so much mixture it's it's bizarre so I had two pancakes and actually folded them both over but then I realized one of them I'd cooked it for a little bit longer than they expected and it sort of turned into like a little taco so because I'd cooked it like this so it's flat like this and then I put it in the oven to keep it warm while I was doing the other one I took it out of the oven and I folded it over and it just folded like exactly like a taco and I was like hang on I'm on something here Anyway, so I, um, yeah, I filled it with cheese and then some beetroot and then it was, it was just delicious. Um, so that got me thinking, if you leave it in the frying pan for a little bit longer, it will get a little bit crispier, which means it does sort of turn it into more of a taco. So that could be a new thing. You could turn your soup into a taco. Honestly. It is a great trick. Add the cheese while it's in the frying pan and then the cheese like melts into it and it is so good. And again, using the savoury soups, there's no reason why you couldn't add an egg and add a little bit of water and make like savoury muffins out of it. I'm not a huge fan of savoury muffins, so I've not actually tried this one, but I'm pretty sure it would work exactly the same as a sweet muffin. So yeah, get your soup mix, add an egg, add some water, bang it in a muffin tray, bang it in the oven for 15 minutes and you've probably got a really nice savoury muffin. So that's everything from this Exante video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you would like to place an Exante order, then just give me a quick message on Instagram and I'll give you my referral code, which will get you £5 off your first order, um, which can be really helpful. £5 off your first order can be a big help. So yeah, please just message me so you can get £5 off um, at my Instagram account, which is Lou Winters. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped anybody who is thinking about doing the Xanta diet or helps anyone that is doing it currently and didn't know these tricks. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.